Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to do some benchmarks to compare Linux versus Windows, like in gaming performance. Because when you go to YouTube, and maybe that's why you are here, and you look for Linux versus Windows benchmarks, gaming benchmarks, this kind of stuff, you find out, surprisingly, that there is very little information about this. A part of maybe ancient gameplays, this is likely the biggest channel that does this kind of comparison. If you want to check like Gamers Nexus, Hardware Unbox, Digital Foundry, or whatever, like a big benchmarking channel, nobody does this kind of benchmark. So what's going on? Like Gamers Nexus actually said over a month ago now that they're gonna, going to do it. They're going to do it. They pick a one distribution, just, just Bazite, which is the most similar to SteamOS, by the way, in my opinion. They pick Bazite, they said they're gonna do it, but they also said they have a problem, they're looking for a solution. I said, what, what solution? You check FPS in one game, you check FPS on Linux, you compare the FPS, bigger number better. What's so difficult? Now, also, Hardware and Box said they're not gonna do it, and they gave different reasons. One of the reasons they said, because not many people use it, which is, I think, 3% of Steam users, which is true, it's a very small number. However, in terms of views, I think people are very interested. Like, my channel is tiny, super small, and people are very interested, they want to see. I've done one benchmarks, very simple, built-in benchmarks, not a proper benchmark, just built-in, the simplest the possible. And the views was astronomical. For my channel, huge. Lots of comments, lots of likes, lots of views. So people want to see that. So I think for a lot of channels, it would be good if they could be able to do a good benchmarks. And guys, my mind was blown. I didn't expect what, what I've seen. Simple benchmarks. Now, this is now everything what Gamers Nexus said makes sense. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's not as simple as that. It's far from simple. Now, one of the most popular benchmarking tool, probably, I don't know if it's the most, but one of the most, is MSE Afterburner. And you go and you check monitoring. You can check a lot of stuff, but the most important is frame time, frame, frame rate, FPS, pretty much FPS, 1% low. Simple, isn't it? Very, very simple. However, there's a challenge I want to also mention. The more you tick, the more option you check, the more likely you create dips, you create stutters. So especially like on GPU side, when you want to check everything, GPU utilization, GPU power, GPU temperature, all these sensors, when you want to get the data, they are CPU heavy. That's on a side. So I wanted to make it simple. So you have MSI after Barner, and you also have very popular, and I think that's what Hardware Unboxed is using. It's Cap Frame X, and it tests the same kind of the same stuff. And also, I was make it easy. And look, guys, in this one, you have one percent low, one percent low here is the same, and it's using kind of the same engine, Riva Tuner. Actually, when you go to Riva Tuner, which is like underlying software. You change on one, it change both. It change MSI Afterburner and it changes this. So it's the same engine underneath. Yeah, and very simple settings. And guys, now I do something that nobody probably does. I will run both of those at the same time, which is supposed to give identical result, isn't it? But it does not. That's why. I'm not sure if it's even possible to compare the performance if on the same system, the almost the same software, almost the same software, just different skin pretty much, give me a different result. So let me activate both of them at the same time. Let's see what happens if somebody who doesn't know how to do benchmarks just run these two apps. Yeah, And I will do both. I will do more proper, which is... I will see. So I will run... Dead Space. Why I pick Dead Space? Because Dead Space has stutters. I wanted to see if Linux can fix stutter problem. And also, I don't know why Windows does it, but when I use OBS and I want to record this game in 1080p on a 4K screen, I just cannot do it properly. So bear in mind, yeah, it's not going to display properly, but let's see what happens. I have both of them on. 
and I have also AMD overlay on. So both of them at the same time. And I see on the other screen that what, what I see and what I see is completely different. You have small screen here, 1080p on a 4K. I have full screen on my side. And I, I couldn't do it, but doesn't matter, guys. And maybe you see, because you only need to see the problem here. See the 1% low? And see 1% low here? And another 1%? I have very different results here. Okay? So let me show you what is that. So I wanted to test stutters. Now, only in full screen I can change the resolution. That's why I cannot change for recording. So that's why everything is uh, yeah, 1080p, high settings, pretty much, no upscaling. If you just turn, like, you know, the benchmark on, look how big of a difference are the results. Have completely different. But somebody may say, look, but not how you do it. You reset. You reset at one point and run a benchmark. Okay, I reset. I have one button to reset both of them. Yeah, F1. Okay, so it's reset. And it still doesn't matter. I've got different results. Okay, once again. I've got completely different results. Sometimes they are close, but the, the higher the FPS I, I have and the bigger the stutters, the more crazy are the numbers. And sometimes they're getting close. Oh, look, like sometimes they're close, but sometimes they're so completely different. It's like shocking. Like the graph is the same. Sorry, guys, it's small. But that, that's, I don't know if it's Windows thing because I don't have this problem on Linux. Look, they, they're getting apart. So the only way I think I can check, I can just like stand here like, and, and I will do this fun benchmarks. Like when I'm st standing still here, now the FPS is the same, and I'm getting close to 300 FPS on 1080p, 300 FPS, yeah? But the average are different. And the, every time I run the, the benchmark and I do the same, you know, they, they get split. I will split again, like reset again. Now it's completely different. What? You cannot compare. This is not Linux to Windows. It's the same Windows and pretty much the same software to measure that. And I've got completely different 1% lows. Average is completely different. Guys, I'm just standing still. I'm not even running, like looking at the fan. And I've got com completely different results. Okay. Again, sorry for the small screen. Th this is Windows. This is this game. This is OBS. OBS is the same on both. L let's try uh, Linux. So let's see on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now we are on Linux. As similar to SteamOS, it's Bazai. That's the peak from Gamers Nexus. And yeah, let's try Steam. Dead space, and I will be using Mango, and that's the control panel on Bazite. Different distribution can have different control panel. Keep it simple, no, just just performance. FPS lower FPS, but we already know what to expect. We expect results that cannot be compared. opening so as you see it's a full screen it's giving me different options and doesn't have this bug that makes 1080p on a 4k screen you know like a small box i have full screen that's how it's supposed to be it's the, the same the same obs linux does it better in this case so 1080p let's go back 
and no upscaling, everything high, the same settings. Now, let me re reset. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the frame time graph is like completely flat, like always almost completely flat. It behaves differently on default settings. Maybe you can adjust to be similar, but even if you adjust to be similar, it, you cannot compare them. They're different software. And it's not just software. Even if you get the same numbers, it doesn't mean the numbers means the same thing because you also have frame pacing. You have different things, how it's all displayed, how it looks, how it feels. Because I can tell you, it feels differently. I don't want to tell you what is better or for worse. If you want to see what's better for worse, I recommend to, to buy a cheap drive and test it yourself. Don't trust me. Don't trust anybody else. Just test yourself and see what works better for me. I have full AMD system. For me, in many cases, Linux feels better, but not always. Sometimes Windows feels better. Sometimes Linux feels better. So the most optimal, it seems to be having, having both. So let's do the fun test. Let's go to the fun over here. Because I think that's the only way I can compare, isn't it? To have exactly the same spot. I'm staying in the same spot. And this is the only, I think, comparable numbers. I'm just standing still, like trying to find the same spot, and hopefully I get the same spot. And now I get 10% better result. This is 1080p on a full AMD system, but 1% low average. This is all BS. I cannot compare that. And look how crazy is the Steam OS. Why it shows me the lows in such a weird numbers? I don't feel stutters at all. It feels really good feels really good for me or maybe they are starters maybe i'm just biased maybe because i see flat line and one person looks almost 200 fps there is no starters but different software completely different numbers you cannot compare and <laughs> that's a big issue i you know this drama between uh hardware unboxed and frame chaser when they fight in each other because Intel, AMD, Deep, this and that, they use using different software. They're like fighting in a different playground. You cannot compare. And even, you know, even, I'm not even sure if you can compare like in the same operating system, same everything, but you have different GPU drivers. Maybe they affect as well how it's calculated. I don't know. I don't know. What I know, you, you cannot compare. It is apple to oranges, completely different. I only know that when I look at this fan and stand in here, I'm getting 10% better. And most of the times it feels for me like 10% better unless there are stutters. There are some games that no matter what, I've got horrible stutters, especially traversal stutters, because no matter how long you play, you always have them. With shader cache uh, starters, the longer you play, the starters becoming less. But for me, on my systems, and it's a little bit personal feelings because that's the only thing I've got, because the numbers are meaningless. It feels better on Linux. The only tangible numbers is the actual FPS, 10% more. So I don't know if it's a disappointing. I think it's a little bit mind blowing that you cannot compare numbers. And even on Windows, hardware unbox using different software, Gamers Nexus using different software, Frame Chaser, for example, using different shows, uh, different software, and, you know, fight with hardware unbox. This guy fighting this because the results are different. Digital Foundry have different, completely different software. And I think what Digital Foundry does is the only way to compare performance. Now I, I'm, I'm, looking at Digital Foundry completely differently. I think they, they are the only ones that have the correct tools to do it, to, to compare. I don't know if they will do it, if they have, like, if, if they care, 
I only see, you know, I can only do that. Like find a spot and stand still, not moving. And see, and even then, you know, like my computer is getting hot. I'm probably CPU limited. I'm a little bit, you know, the temperature rising a little bit. Then I'm slowly getting less FPS, like 2% less, you know, 3%. Yeah, it, it, even now it's a changing a little bit. From run to run, you get different results. I don't know if you can compare. You, the only way, you, you install and you test yourself. Uh, but even then, how you test without the metrics? The field pretty much the same. You, you don't ten percent. You don't feel the difference. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.